candlestick charts provide a much more clear analysis of what everybody else is watching. For example, when we uh, did the abandoned baby gap up, telling us the selling had stopped, the bullish trend had started, once it got back up above, the, when the Dow got back up above the T-line, which is our main criteria for telling us whether we're in an uptrend or a downtrend, it told us that we were heading up. And now, knowing that there was a resistance level in here, when it broke through, it can uh, graphically illustrate much more clearly, based upon the strong signals that took you through that resistance level, that now we were probably in a wave one, wave two, currently in a wave three. This allows us to make some very simple assumptions. This uptrend might have the same magnitude as this trend right here, number one. Number two, that continues to confirm as long as we don't close back below the T-line. The same assessment was applied to the NASDAQ. Wave one, wave two, now going into wave three. Knowing that we're in an uptrend is the first basic analysis when you're uh, trading, whether you're a swing trader or a long, longer term investor, or even a day trader. The fact that we know that we're heading in an upward direction allows us to put on a lot more aggressive long positions and have our portfolio oriented much more heavily toward the long side. Now, obviously, in this type of market, you're probably very heavily oriented toward the long side with any short positions in the portfolio really requiring confirmation that there has been no buy signals and a close back up above the T-line, which would warrant closing out the short positions. When the same patterns, like a fry pan bottom breakout, occurs, especially on a big name like Tesla, Notice our doji sandwich that broke out through this level, telling us we're now in wave three. Wave one, fry pan bottom, wave two, break out at this level with a doji sandwich, telling us there was going to be more upside. Now with the expectation that wave three could be the same magnitude as wave one. That makes for not only a good trade in Tesla, but it also indicates there hasn't been any major change of investor sentiment yet that these markets should be continuing because everybody's still buying the big name stocks. The same analysis can be applied to NVIDIA. When it came back up above the T-line and broke out through this level, telling us our uptrend was still in progress. And once again, as long as it continues to trade above the T-line, it's a pretty good indication that our uptrend remains in progress. This does not preclude the possibility that there might be some profit taking in some of these stocks along the way, but the overall trend is still positive. Having the ability to know uh, what happens after a breakout, the Japanese rice traders show us that if you've got a fry pan bottom breakout, expect a lot more upside. This allows us to start putting on positions right at the appropriate time Instead of having to wait for a pattern to, to confirm, after you buy uh, uh, at the conf confirmation level, the breakout level, that's where your big price moves were likely to occur. The same scenario applied to our recommendation on MAXR. You could see the breakout, then you could see the buying that was uh, forming this fry pan bottom. And we could even be adding to positions or establishing option trades further out once we see that the uptrend is going to continue with the expectation of the next wave being the same magnitude as this wave. An uptrending market gives us a lot more opportunities to take advantage of big price moves. For example, we know that the candlestick kicker signal where it opens here, closes here, the next day they gap it up and go the opposite direction, is usually going to produce a very strong price move, as in our recommendation on NT, uh, or NLTX. So that same analysis can be applied to uh, 
ECL today. Notice the opened here, closed here, gapped up and went this direction. So look at all the things you can analyze on this gap up. First of all, the kicker signal in itself is a very strong reversal signal. Secondly, it came up through off the T-line, up through the 34, up through the 50, up through the 200. I'm telling you those aren't going to act as resistance levels. The fact that they gapped it up told you there's a lot of strength. And finally, they broke this downtrend, telling you there's no resistance there. Expect a lot more upside. Analyzing what happens in human nature the same way time after time is very simple, knowing what the expected results are based upon the different signals and patterns. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat room. There's still a lot more upside to this market.